Hello everyone. Today we are presenting a case study of a 49 year old male suffering from Norwood grade 6 baldness in a diffuse pattern. As evident from the pictures, the patient had notably thin hair on his med scalp which provided insufficient light blockage. He had a limited donor area which was in average condition. Our approach entailed the drawing of a U-shaped hairline making the entire frontal region and pinpointing the thinning areas in the med scalp and crown area. After the surgery, we fashioned a zigzag hairline with single and thin hair follicles placed 7.4 cm from the glabular point. This placement was chosen to best suit the patient's age. We aim to deliver a moderate density at the frontal, mid scalp and crown areas. A total of 5000 grafts were used in this case owing to the average condition of the donor area. All the grafts were harvested from the back of the scalp and the beard area under the jawline. One month post-surgery, 80% of the shading was observed in this case. It is important to note that the shedding phase varies from patient to patient. At the two-month mark, 90% of the shedding was visible. Although the patient's non-transplanted hair showed some growth, his beard area was undetectable due to the use of 0.7 mm small size punch for graft extraction. Four months, significant growth was visible. Both the non-transplanted and transplanted hair showed substantial growth. The patient returned to us after seven months and the result was outstanding, particularly in the frontal zone. The hairline looked natural and his transplanted hair and non-transplanted hair had perfectly merged. In the photos, you can observe a thinning area at the deep brown. This area was not part of the transplant process. In advanced baldness cases such as grade 6 or grade 7, we usually perform two sessions to maintain patient's health and health of his toner area. This is a standard protocol at QHD Clinic. We are glad to bring such case studies to you, please like, share and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our latest advancement and insights of hair transplant surgery. Thank you.